Hi, welcome to our second lesson on learning how to play piano for worship. In this lesson, you will learn how to play the basic playing style. If you recall from the last lesson, the last lesson we played a playing style that held the keys for either two counts or four counts. Let me show you how it looked like. Remember, we held the key of C for four counts that goes like this. One, two, three, and four. And then we released it. Now, one of the disadvantages of that first style is that you realize that the congregation will have no idea when are your four counts ending. And you will only have the idea because at this point in time, you are counting in your head. So hence, I bring you to the basic playing style. The basic playing style will allow you to um, count the number of beats per bar while you're playing. This is how, how it goes for four counts. For four counts, you still do the same thing as you have done in the first style, which is holding it down. For the second count, you will just bounce on your right hand, which means second count. Third count, exactly the same thing. And fourth count, exactly the same thing. Let me just show you again the whole bar of C for four counts. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. Notice that for my left hand, I have held the double C, the C bass, down for the whole of the four counts before lifting it up. Now let's move on to the A minor chord. For the A minor chord, I'll do exactly the same thing. I'll just hold down the left for, for the four counts. And for the right hand side, I'll just bounce for four counts. So it goes like this. One, two, three, and four. And then I lift it up. Okay. Now, let me show you how two counts would be like. Two counts, for example, on the F major chord will be like this. One, two. Okay. So what you'll realize later on when you're playing still is that during the chorus part, the change will be quite fast. Let me show you what I mean. The chorus part of still have F, G, and C um, for as the chords. Two counts for F, two counts for G, and four counts for C. So this is how it will look like. One, two, G, two, and C, two, three, four. I recommend that you just start to practice playing that by yourself first and then after that follow as I'll play the whole song of still okay yet again before playing I will just set my metronome to 75 beats per minute and then I'll start it it is a good practice to have a metronome in order to keep to tempo so I'll flash on screen the chords as we play this still together. So let's start. One, two, three, and go. C, two, three, four, and A, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, and G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, and A, How did you fare at that? I'm sure that some of you might have felt that was pretty fast, even at 75 beats per minute. So what you can do is that you can slow down your metronome so that you can try it out at maybe 60 beats per minute first, and then after that, slowly increase it up back to 75 beats per minute. Now, just to give you a sneak preview of the next lesson, the next lesson, we will be learning about how to use the sustain pedal while playing this style. So the next lesson, it's a very important lesson. 
because it will teach you about the sustain pedal for any songs and you learn use the sustain panel pedal for any of these songs um, almost all the time in fact with the same style the reason why I decided to put it as a lesson by itself is because the sustain pedal is very, very important for worship. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Thank you.